poultry farming refers to the raising of domestic birds like chicken, turkey, ducks for the purpose of producing meat, eggs, feathers, or even manure for farming. It is a highly profitable venture with a lot of exciting opportunities if done right. The cost of starting and operating a poultry farm depends on the size of the farm and the scale of the operation. Small scale farm usually requires little capital, but a large scale farm requires huge capital. And all this could be lost. is an outbreak of disease on your farm. Everything could go from being fine to you losing all your beds at just the snap of your finger. Beds are such delicate creatures that a change in the flora, especially for young beds, intestinal flora, especially for young beds, would make to could kill the bed in a matter of minutes. Diseases are spread easily when beds are raised using the deep litter system and when they are confined in spaces. This format of raising beds, that's the deep litter system, usually aids the spreading of diseases. So any action to a disease should be quick and swift. Today we'll be talking about a disease of grave economic importance, which is the Salmonella. Salmonella in poultry can be regarded as two types of infection. The first, which is of primary importance, is for public health. What do I mean by public health? Salmonella is a sickness that can affect both poultry and man. But we'll not be talking about the aspect in which it affects man. We're talking about how salmonella affects poultry. And to help us do justice to this, we'll take the few discussion points. What is polorum? Brief history of polorum. How to avoid an outbreak. And then lastly, organic treatments for reducing mortality. Salmonella polorum and Salmonella gallerium are especially adapted to poultry. They cause diseases known as polarum disease and foul typhoid, and both mainly affect chickens and turkeys. Several other animals also carry these types of Salmonella. In most cases, the birds are not sick and the production is not affected. The degree of illness depends on factors of both the bacteria and the host. Like a host with a weakened immune system will be more susceptible to these diseases and it will display symptoms more than a bed that has a strong immune system. Salmonella mainly affects young chickens aged from 2 weeks to 3 months. The symptoms in poultry include lack of appetite, depression, ruffled feathers for the beds and they're always closing their eyes and they're always chipping loudly then the telltale sign that you can easily know if you are experiencing a salmonella odorum outbreak is white diarrhea that's the droppings of the bed become white the symptoms may vary and they include weakness loss of appetite poor growth and the animals are always huddled together in the direction of the heat source. They also have dropping wings, dropping wings as we've seen in this video. The beds in this poultry house have been affected by a salmonella polarum outbreak and as you can see some of the beds are having dropping feathers. They are active but most of them having dropping feathers. Later stages of the disease sees the beds always gasping for breath, then lameness follows, and if still left untreated, death is imminent. Now the treatment of salmonella should focus on 
first the removal of the source of infection to prevent a reinfection after treatment and then the management of already infected flock to help recovery and reduce mortality to prevent adverse effects on the future growth of the birds. Now what to do when you notice a salmonella outbreak? We're going to just be going straight to the point and telling you what and what exactly you should do, which is going to be very simple. Since we're going to be teaching the organic method, all you need to do when you experience a salmonella outbreak is to look for these herbs. You look for ginger. Ginger is like an antibiotic and also an immune booster. So you get your ginger at the local store. You can go to local market and get ginger. Next, you'll be getting the garlic. The garlic is like one of the most powerful antibiotics. It's amongst the most powerful antibiotics in poultry farming. So you get this ginger followed by your garlic and then you process it by grinding it. Then you add this to mango back extract. In case you cannot get the back, the leaves too can be used, but it's advisable to get the back. Now, how do you get your mango extract back? It's simple. You go to a mango tree, peel out the back using a knife or a sharp object. You peel out the hard, dry back, soak it in water for three days. Or if it's an emergency and your beds are suffering as in a serious outbreak, all you need to do is just boil it and allow it to cool down for at least 15 minutes. I will be dropping the exact measurement in the comment section. Where else I see at least 10 comments, I will be dropping the exact formula, exact measurement in the comment section. To enable you make the exact quantity or the exact dosage for the number of beds you have in your pen you either soak it in water or you process it by boiling it then you can add other herbs like onions you can add onions you can add turmeric into the mixture and give your bed that's all when you're experiencing an outbreak so you do this and watch peace and come return back to your farm that was once struggled by the salmonella. Don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section as we'll be sharing other methods of preparing organic medicines, African way for our flocks. In the subsequent videos, we'll be sharing other do-it-yourself or do-it-at-home organic remedies that are very effective against the various types of viral, bacteria, and protozoan diseases that border poultry. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos and click on the notification bell so that you'll be reminded anytime a new video is released. Thank you.